there, I'm Big Alias. How are y'all tonight, you f <laughs> I'm gonna leave it in. I'm gonna leave, I'm just gonna leave that in, dude. Oh my god, it's a good job I don't monetize these videos. Because, dude, that wouldn't have been, <laughs> that would not have looked good on my channel. Oh man, I, I really hope I get like spotted by a bot and uh, get some sort of Akira motorcycle robot chasing situation. Did you know that there's now four or five ads on some YouTube videos that run in succession? And we're totally, we're just so conditioned to be okay with this, but it's that's so not okay that that's happening. I mean, we're encroaching on the level of ads that we used to get on TV for productions that would be like. 10 million you know dollar productions or maybe like a million dollar production per episode and we're getting just as many ads it's absolutely bizarre but hey we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about something else how crazy is that speaking of scamming for money uh the day before okay so the day before it's an interesting one this so ba basically for the uninitiated i'll try to wrap this up as quickly and most as accessibly as possible but essentially they released a bunch of stuff like trailers and assets and images whatever blah 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 blah, blah. and all of these were actually immediately spotted as being made up from other assets from other games this is something that we look out for nowadays because it happens all the time. Assets flips. Asset flips happen all the time. Uh, and then it was delayed and delayed and delayed. Uh, I think it was the most wishlisted game on Steam for a bit. Uh, but they kept delaying it and delaying it literally days before it was supposed to release. And then they finally released it. And it was a complete and utter disaster. Uh, I saw like one FPS on some you know, playthroughs and stuff like that. The game is a complete mess. I IGN? I've been following IGN for about 15 years and I can't remember a time they ever gave a game a 1. Not even Road to Hell Retribution, I think they gave that a 2 or a 3, Ride to Hell Retribution. They, they gave this game a 1. This game has a 1 out of 10 from IGN, which means basically your game is condemned and you have to give up. And I guess they did, because 4 days after releasing it, they, they gave up, they gave up the goat and they said, I'm sorry, we can't do this anymore, ghost. Uh, we can't we can't do this anymore uh, and and we're done we're, we're, we're backing out and we're closing as a company uh, you know we're gonna dip and leave and uh, I saw this post on Twitter and it added another title card to the series the litany of apologies um, that we are uh, seem to be getting from devs in 2023 and the comments were not very favorable at all telling them why the fuck are you trying to duck and run? And I don't blame them because one thing for some reason I hadn't considered through all this coverage of them um, backing out is that people are very much struggling to get refunds right now for this game. And obviously it's a bit of a hot button situation to try to get a refund for this game. They ripped everyone off. And I mean, when you think about it, they really are just ripping people off and then running. And they say that they're not doing that and it's not a scam game, but... For all intents and purposes, isn't that exactly what's happening? You know, if people have spent money on this game that they hyped up and wishlisted and now the company is just up and leaving, no, they have a responsibility to service the customer. The games aren't cheap to buy um, and there's a reason, well, one of the reasons for that, particularly when the game was online only as well. Um, but it, it sort of brings to attention for me a larger issue because my channel and you know, on my channel, we don't just go through things. We end up with some sort of huge moral, you know, conundrum at the end of the video that's societal in some huge way. Um, but it did, it made me think about something. And I think about this a lot when I think about, you know, devs closing down and people sort of complaining about that. Uh, rightfully so, by the way. And that's the... Okay, I'm going to get into it. I'm I am going to get political here, so I do apologize for that, for that. But people like to say that this is a very liberal era for us. And you could not be further from the truth. Just because companies and people do things like celebrate Pride Month and support trans people does not mean in any way that this is not conservative era. We're living through what I would consider to be the most conservative era of the uh, since the Industrial Revolution. Um, up there with the 80s. It may, I think it's even more conservative now than it was in the 80s. When even the left is behaving like money-hungry conservatives and Republicans. Um, yes, we are living in the most conservative, conservative era since the Industrial Revolution, I believe. Um, because, you know, even people who are, like like I said, align with left wing are out there getting that bag and making money and squeezing money out of people as much as possible and being highly money-focused. It's something that we don't really like to focus on, but it, it's definitely true. And part of that has become this insatiable obsession with having to, like, 
be at the head of a company and this new ridiculous notion that not only you know if you're not making six figures you can't date this woman or you know if you're not making a mill um, you're a failure and stuff like that which is these horrible new notions that we have out there that are completely unattainable and ridiculous um, but not just that I mean it, it's this this notion that we all have to start our own business and we all have to be at the head of our company and if we're working for someone now in this uh, in the 2020s that's just unacceptable and it means that you're a broke bitch this is what happens when you do that a lot more goes into a company than people think and this is why and this has been a recurring theme on my channel this is why i hate it when people just talk out of their ass about attaining things and achieving things and starting a business and getting and doing all of that there is so much more that goes into that because you would think, just looking at it from a surface level, that you could just like make a product and if it doesn't work out, then you can back out. But that's something that everyone seems to forget, that there is a service to the customer. That once you create a customer, that customer sort of has a tail to it, unless you're running a fucking boot fair. And you know, when you're creating a service, you have to service the service and maintain the service. But we forget about that because everyone is so obsessed with being at the head of a company and companies, you know, largely are about creating a service for people that they forget that and they don't apply that and then they duck and run and people scratch their heads and go oh this person who created this company this game development team they didn't service the product properly why has this happened because everyone thinks they can do it because everyone is obsessed with doing it and is told that they can i'm not saying don't be ambitious but i just think if you're going to be ambitious please consider every facet of it and where things could go wrong and prepare for that and create a safety net in a way that none of these new startup game devs seem to be doing they, they have no safety net because they haven't gone into it creating one because everyone's told them just do it and create a, a, a business it's drives me insane it really drives me nuts um and obviously this is something that annoys me a lot and this is what happens when things go wrong and nine times out of, out of ten they fucking do <laughs> so anyway i rambled i got annoyed and i guess that's what christmas is all about i guess i'll see everyone later are you this guy? You're not, but you could be. He's in. He's he's wearing a suit. You could be wearing a suit too. If you unwrap a giant, this is, I think it's an ice cream. The PlayStation is only $149, and you can also get leading titles.